people in Bulgaria were no longer afraid to die. They were afraid of dying without trying to be free. The Ottoman Empire, the beast that prevented us from living happily in our own land. That was the reason why so many mystical creatures started to appear and legends to emerge. Ten years behind the road in my village, Zagore, a huge monster started to slaughter the Ottomans with billy goat horns, nailing them straight into their hearts and leaving them on the roads so that everybody could see what would happen to them if they decided to return to Zagore. <coughs> What of course nobody knew was that this ugly huge monster was a weapon made of a desperate man in love for his dead wife and anger about the person responsible for her death. He wanted revenge so badly that he turned his own daughter into a monster. That monster was me. Being the monster with the big gold horn, I've slaughtered hundreds of Ottomans, but this time, this time the occasion was special. Del Mustafa was coming to town to get himself a new wife. He was a commander from the army that was once in love with my mother. He believed he owned the lives and the destinies of people from Zagor. I can see him coming down the road. He and his two guards. I prepared and I jumped. I could tell his people knew the legends about the monster with the billy goat horn. Because they were so afraid of me, it was a kid's game to get rid of them. Now it was just me and Delhi Mustafa. I'm not gonna lie, I knew I would enjoy killing the person responsible for my mother's death. I grab him by the neck. I can see the fear in his eyes. I can sense the madness that is chasing his thoughts. I can smell the corpse that he's about to turn into. Fulfill my duty. Let me tell you how my mother died. It was a lovely autumn evening in Zagore. Me and my mom were making dinner while waiting for my father to come home. My mom was the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. But the thing that I loved most about her it wasn't her beauty, it was her voice. Whenever she sang to me, I felt safe and free and happy. That night we were singing my favorite song. me and she 
smiled as if nothing happened. She wanted me to sing her a song so that none of us is afraid. No, monsters don't cry. So now you know how my mother died. And they couldn't kill the buster that was responsible for her death. <clears throat> As I went back home, my father was furious with me. I wasn't able to do the only thing that he ever asked me to. He even slapped me. But that was the moment when I realized I was a woman. If he would have punched me, I would know I'm a man. But no, a slap is only worth a woman. I couldn't send him like that. Revenge had become his only purpose in life. So I ran back to the village where the folks were having the traditional celebration. Everybody was singing, dancing, having fun. Because the Ottomans couldn't take away our culture and our folklore. So we started dancing along with them. Then I noticed looking at me, smiling. He came to me and we started having a little competition. Love would save us. 